This product is IoT based smart toll booth system. Here, hardware version sir, Arduino and its daughter board along with power supply, 16 by 2 LCD display. Wi-Fi module ESP8266 RFID EMI18 chips connected to Arduino UART ports. DC gear mode controlled by l 3 d HPG IC which is connected to Arduino digital pins. Here, buzzer connected to Arduino digital pins respectively. Here, we have our own server designed according to our requirements. Initially, we have to create hotspot in, in our mobile with the name of IoT server and password is IoT server 123. Now, we have to open hotspot settings. Here, network name IoT server and password IoT server 123. Save. Mobile should have internet through the SIM. Now, we can log in server application in this URL. Here, URL is project factory server dot in using username and password. Username is IoT 26 and password is IoT 26. We can name it this according to our requirement. In this URL, we can open in our mobile or laptop. Now we have to open in our mobile. We can see here project factory server dot in and it is asking username and password. Username IOT26 and password IOT26. Now power on this. After switch on this project, it connect internet through the hotspot. Here, each vehicle has RFID code, which has vehicle information like license plate number. Also, it has a balance when the task and toll booth amount debited and the gate will be open. This information is uploaded into the IoT server. Here, three RFID cards, third one is invalid and these two cards assigned to two different vehicles with initial balance of 100 rupees and 200 rupees. Based on vehicle, amount will be debited. For first vehicle, 10 rupees debited and the second vehicle for 20 rupees debited. Vehicle number balance 100 rupees 10 rupees directed. We can see here on LCD, you miss data uploaded into the server. Remaining balance 90 rupees. Second code. Twenty rupees directed. Here, this one is email record, 
whenever we swipe the invalid code gate will not open and buzzer will on We have to refresh this page. We can see here all these vehicle information with respect to date and time.